Good morning. My name is John Whitmere. I'm the director of music ministry at Salem Lutheran Church and School in Afton, Missouri, and it's my privilege to bring you a devotion this morning. Today's devotion is another in the series of Monday Blessings, written by my father, Pastor Gary Whitmere, during his time in active ministry. Today's devotion is based on Isaiah chapter 38, verse 17, which reads, You have put all my sins behind my back. Gary writes, Coming home after school was always a delightful event. I opened the door with mild anticipation. The mouth-watering aroma of freshly baked cookies invaded my fantasy world where dreams of being a flying ace circled in my head. The back door opened onto the kitchen. Sure enough, there they were, all laid out to cool on the cupboard counter beautiful oatmeal cookies. Although I could assume that I could take one, one was never quite sure. Perhaps mom was baking for a funeral or for the neighbor, so it behooved you to ask before taking. Today, mom was nowhere in sight. I took one of the cookies and proceeded into the next room. There she was in the living room, rearranging some furniture. As soon as I saw her, I reflexively hid the cookie behind my back. While I wanted her to know I had something, I wasn't sure I wanted her to know what it was. I stood there with my hand behind my back. Mom, can I have a cookie? I asked as innocently as possible. What do you have behind your back? She asked. Using the standard answer to a mother inquisitor, I replied, oh, nothing. Let me see, she demanded. I quickly put my left hand behind my back and pulled the hanky out of my pocket and waved it at her. <laughs> nice trick, she commented. Now let's see what's in the other hand. If it's a cookie, can I eat it? I asked with what I thought was a straight face. Mother smiled. That was a good sign. That's why I made them. By the way, who do you think you are fooling? I'm your mother. I know, I answered just before I shoved the cookie into my mouth. What have you done? God inquires of me. Reflexively, I want to hide my sin behind my back. The thought comes to my head. If I tell him, will he forgive me? This isn't the first time I have done this sin. Tell you, will you forgive me? I ask him. Sure, he answers. I didn't go to all the trouble of making forgiveness just to have something to do to entertain myself. I made it for you. Now I expect you to use it and enjoy it. Would you please pray with me? Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for the gift of forgiveness. Help us always to come to you to receive it. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you so much for listening and watching today. May God bless your Monday and your entire week. Thank you and goodbye.